Should you make a self-made Gen 4 CF Express card type B? A new 2TB CF Express cost over 750, 1TB over 300 and a 512GB over 150. For a self-made card buy a CF Express type B adapter and a 2230 Gen 4 M.2 NVMe SSD card for less than half the price. To make one open the adapter, insert your NVMe drive Put some thermal paste on it. I'm not so good at this task. <laughs> and on a video, someone put the paste on the back side of the card. Then close that adapter and put all the screws. My adapter needs six screws and they are so small, so it is not very easy to insert them. This adapter is a little bit thicker than a bought CF Express Type B card. After that you're done. In my old reader, SanDisk Professional, it is not easy to remove the card and it is not reading the data from this card. The old card was easy to insert and remove. My new card reader, Alexar, has no problem with the card. It can read it and you can insert and remove it very easy. Let's find out the speeds from the bought CF Express cards, the Agfa, my Angelbird and the self-made one. Depending on the used connection, you see that the fastest connection for every card I have is the 3.2 Gen 2x2 20 GB per second. It is even faster than the 40 GB per second connection. The fastest transfer from my videos to the PC is by far when I use the CF Express, the self-made one. You see I get speeds from 1350 MB per second while the Anglebird has a speed of 938 and the Agfa 766 megabytes per second. When I use the Crystal Disk Mark 8.0.4 to test the speed, it shows a similar thing that the connection 3.2 Gen 2x2 with 20 gigabyte per second is my fastest connection, uh, but here it shows that the Anglebird should be a little bit slower than the Agfa and the fastest one is a self-made one. I don't know why, but the Chrysler Disk Mark shows that the read speed should be very slower on the Anglebird, but uh, I know that the transfer to the PC is much faster than the Agfa, so here I don't know why it shows the Anglebird so bad. It is not. Considering this benchmark, the Anglebird should be much faster when I use the 40 GB USB-C connection, but it's not, as I know, the real-world transfer speed to the PC. Like I said before, my self-made card doesn't work with a SanDisk professional reader, so I had to buy the Lexa one. I tested the transfer speed from my Anglebird card, what works on both readers, when I use the one or the other reader. And here I saw the faster thing what I can get for a transfer to the PC was about 15% faster when I use the Lexar over the SanDisk Professional. So I would say the Lexar one is much better than the old reader I had. Would I recommend my self-made card over some Angelbirds or some other brands? Well, this is one <laughs> always failing or my Agfa one. There are pros and some contrasts. The pros, first of all, are the speed. The transfer speed from the card, from this one, to my PC I can transfer data with 1350 megabit per second. The card works great on my Canon R5C in 8K RAW 60 FPS. So I work with this one. The main reason why I go with this card over, let's say, the Anglebird is just because it is much, much cheaper when you buy it. You can create a 2TB card for maybe one third of the cost and a 1TB for half of the price. And so I would say what you get for the price, the self-made is much better. Did I have any issues up to now? And yes, I had. The first day when I inserted this card into my Canon R5C, I got twice a buffer overflow. And then I thought, okay, I can't work with this card. Then I switched from 8K60 to 8K30 and it was working. And uh, 
After this first day with these two errors, I said no, I can't use it if I can't use 8K RAW 60 FPS. But since the second day, I never had again any issue. So I don't know what was the reason that um, I got two buffer overflows. Since then, this card works great. And so, uh, yeah, the first day just gave me some kind of bad feeling. So I would say if I would have to film a wedding or something really important, then I have, a, yeah, then I'm not so confident that it will work. I never had any issues like that with my Angelbird. And so I would say this is my go-to uh, if I have really something important to film. But for everything else where I would say uh, if I have some cards much cheaper, then I would take the self-made one. Now, beside this error, I also had a second error with the self-made card. When I was trying to see how fast it can transfer to my PC, I was uh, trying to see how fast is it when I transfer it to a Gen 3 NVMe drive or to a Gen 4 NVMe drive or to a older HDD drive. And by transferring always uh, from the card back to the card, to the PC, to the card, then suddenly the speed fall down to 200 megabyte. I thought, what is wrong? Is it too hot? And uh, so I turned it off and some minutes later I inserted it again, but the speed was really staying there at the low 200 megabyte. Then I formatted the card and since then I again never had the issue again. So yeah, something tells me that maybe it is not the most stable solution. But because of the price, I would uh, buy my next cards like this to create self-made cards. And uh, if I will get other cards with a faster NVMe drive, I will uh, maybe make again a video if I see that I will not get any issue on the other card. Because of the pros, the low price and uh, that it usually works, except of the first day, I would say it is a clear recommendation for me. For a wedding, maybe I would go with the Angelbird. But uh, beside this one, with my Delkin card, I had issues like that. And also with my Aqua card, I had similar issues. I was getting, after the first errors, always again errors like that with buffer overflow. And so I don't use them anymore. So the two cards I use right now are the two Angelbirds and also my self-made one. So for me, it is important to know that uh, my future cards will be self-made cards. My recommendation is that I would definitely go for this kind of cards and I give my thumb up for buying cards like this and create your own and maybe with another brand of an NVMe drive. Everything will be really stable and so I think the next card will just be another brand and uh, if I see that everything is stable Maybe then I will make a similar video like this one where I could hopefully say everything stays always stable and I would also recommend this one for weddings. But right now, because of the first day, I wouldn't recommend this as the main card for a wedding. I hope you learned something. I learned a lot and hope you like the video. Give me a like, subscribe and see you the next time. So bye.